Did you know that every time a woman has a one-night stand, a part of her sexual partner lives inside her forever? Discover the mind-blowing truth about male DNA in women and how it's shaping our understanding of intimacy, love, and the human brain. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore topics that are not for the faint-hearted. Today, we will be discussing a fascinating yet controversial topic about male DNA living forever in women after making love. Yes, you heard it right. I know this might sound bizarre, but research has shown that during sexual intercourse, male DNA can enter and remain inside the female body, even after the man is long gone. For years, scientists believed that once a woman was impregnated, the male DNA would disappear after the baby was born. However, recent research has shown that male DNA can be found in a woman's blood, brain, and other organs long after the baby is born. In fact, Male DNA has been found in women who have never given birth, leading scientists to conclude that intercourse is the primary mode of transmission. Now, let's get into the nitty-gritty. During mating, semen contains sperm cells that carry male DNA, which can enter a woman's reproductive system and potentially fertilize an egg. However, even if the sperm cells do not fertilize the egg, male DNA can still remain inside a woman's body for years. In fact, a study published in PLOS One found that male DNA can be found in a woman's brain for decades after intercourse. Microchimerism is the term used to describe this presence of a small number of cells in an individual's body that originated from a different individual. Another fascinating aspect of male DNA living forever in women is the potential for accumulation. In other words, the more partners a woman has, the more male DNA could potentially live on inside her body. The PLOS One study found that women who had multiple sexual partners had a higher incidence of male DNA in their brains compared to those who had only one sexual partner. The researchers hypothesized that this could be due to male DNA from previous partners residing in the body and being transferred to the brain during subsequent sexual encounters. While this study has yet to be replicated and its findings should be interpreted with caution, it does raise interesting questions about the potential long-term effects of sexual behavior on the human body. Could a woman's sexual history impact her health and well-being in ways we have yet to fully understand? Now, the question arises, what impact does this male DNA have on women? Research has shown that it can have a significant impact on a woman's physical and mental health. For instance, male DNA can alter a woman's immune system, leading to an increased risk of autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis. On the other hand, it has been suggested that male microchimerism can improve the brain's ability to learn and remember. It has also been linked to a reduced risk of Alzheimer's disease. Furthermore, male DNA has also been found in breast milk, which can have implications for breastfeeding mothers. While some research suggests that the presence of male DNA in breast milk can enhance a baby's immune system, other studies have raised concerns about the potential risks associated with the transmission of male DNA to infants. However, what is even more controversial is the possibility that male DNA can be passed down from a mother to her children. A study published in the Journal of Proteome Research found that male DNA was present in the blood and urine of pregnant women, suggesting that it could be transmitted to their offspring. While the long-term implications of this transmission are not yet fully understood, it raises questions about the potential impact on future generations. Now, let's move on to the elephant in the room. Does this mean that every woman carries the DNA of all her male sexual partners inside her body? The short answer is yes. While the exact percentage varies, studies have shown that a significant proportion of women carry male DNA in their bodies, even if they have never given birth. So it's essential to approach one-night stands with caution and to prioritize one's health and well-being. Engaging in safe sex practices, such as using protection, reduce the risks involved. Additionally, taking care of one's mental health and emotional well-being is just as important as physical health. In conclusion, the idea that male DNA can live on inside women's bodies long after sexual intercourse raises fascinating questions about the intricate relationships between biology, gender, and sexuality. While these findings may be controversial and thought-provoking, they also provide us with an opportunity to deepen our understanding of the complex and often mysterious workings of the human body. Thank you for watching. We're looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments below.